Hamza, we discussed in our last class about the structuralism. Okay. Mm -hmm. If you remember, uh, Hamza, we have basically two approaches in our structuralism. Okay. The first one was consensus, and the other one was conflict. The consensus, uh, as name suggests, that that the majority of the people will agree. They are agree with the way the society or the uh, institutions are working in the society. Okay. Uh, and on the other hand, we have a conflict. Conflict says says that the ins social institutions or the powerful institution working in the society uh, are not working on its better level. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we have to change the society. In other words, they are some kind of you can say disagreement. So we discussed basically two points in the disagreement. Uh, the first one was Marxism, and the other one was uh, feminism. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we are discussing one of the point which is known as Marxism into the conflict. Okay, so that uh, is basically the second approach of the structuralism. Mm -hmm. So what is Marxism said? Um, the Marxism said that in the society there are basically two partitions. The first one is elite class, and the other one is poor uh, poor class. Okay, they decide or they define the society. They said that Hamza, so if you see the history of the societies has been the history of the class struggle. Okay, the class struggle we have basically two parties in the in any kind of a society. One is known as uh, elite class and the other one known as poor class. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is the one conflict from the Marxism point of view that. Two parties are working uh, in the societies, and they have a huge amount of a difference. Okay, mm -hmm. that's why uh, the institution who are working in the society are not taking a better control of the society because there is a huge gap between two parties. Okay, mm -hmm. now we have to discuss uh, the uh, parties of the societies. First, initially, we have to discuss on the the basic need of the human. Marxism always talks about from the uh, basic need of a human okay mm -hmm. now Hamza, you can see the basic need of the human uh, look at the diagram we basically have three basic human needs okay food clothing and shelter this is known as basic human needs so if we want to compete if we want to complete or if we want to fulfill any individual basic need Hamza, we have to rely on some kind of materialistic things mm -hmm. okay all these different things we required some kind of a material mm. okay food cloth shelter are those things Hamza, that you can touch that you can sense that you can feel okay so you can say these are some material needs okay mm. because you can touch them so mm. in the order to produce food cloth and shelter Hamza, you required some kind of a material need okay mm. how you will uh, how will you will complete some kind of a material need for that material need, something you need some kind of a material production. Yes. Of course, you need some kind of a material production. Then you would be able to make food, cloth, and the shelters. Okay. Now, how you will produce the material production? Okay. Hamza, sometimes uh, on the nature, nature gives you some kind of a raw raw material. Okay. By using these raw materials, Hamza, you further produce some kind of a material things. And then by using such raw materials, you produce food, cloth and the shelters. Mm. Okay. If you remember, we discussed from the economic point of view that we have some kind of a material production. We have some factors of production, but they are basically uh, limited by the mm. nature. Yeah. Okay. Now, here we are discussing about those material production. Hamza, likewise, uh, a human animals also need uh, some kind of their basic needs okay and how they produce this they are directly rely on the nature resources okay but human can't rely on the natural resources okay they use the natural resources the raw materials okay and they further produce their basic needs mm -hmm. now if you have a, a natural resources and if uh, you have used the natural resources as your raw materials then you would be able to make your basic need is that so or not yeah. okay you now the question is this the uh, the main thing is that that hamza every human has that ability to produce different goods okay by using these raw material some would be able to produce cloths 
some would be able to produce food some would be able to produce shelters yeah. are you getting my point yeah. okay so every person has the ability to produce unique or the ability to produce is unique among the humans are you getting my point or not yes no you have a material of production no mm-hmm. the, the question is that that what are the means of the production okay basically who own that who is holding or who has basically uh, these resources mm-hmm. we divide into two parts hum the those people who basically own or the control over the means of the production hum the they are known as dominant class mm-hmm. okay and the person who don't have means of production are known as dominated class yeah okay so in our society hum the we basically have two classes the one is dominant class and the other one is dominated, dominated class the issue is that that the both have opposing interest okay uh, the dominant class would be who will give you some kind of a job okay and you are dominated class because you will try your best to hire and to get this job mm-hmm. and that dominant class will decide that what kind of uh, wages and what kind of a salary you will get in return after giving 8 to 10 hours to the company okay so you are a dominant class and they are sorry you are a dominant class and other one is dominated class know. okay so both have opposing interest so because of these opposing interest this is known as the class struggle hmm. okay the class struggle is said marxism uh, basically define the society that if you see the history of society hmm. the history of society has become the history of the class struggle yeah. in every society hum you will see the struggling be- between these two classes okay so uh, that is basically from the point of view of the capitalist the capitalistic are known as dominant class and the other one is dominated class okay so from the marx point of view now you can see that there is a conflict in the society okay and the conflict of what conflict of the class okay so the they basically criticize on the powerful institution working in the society that they are not working properly because there are basically two classes two struggling classes and there is a huge gap between them okay this is a basic idea of the uh, marxism from